वेलकम टू सीज द मेन्स बाय राज मल्होत्रा आई एस अकेडमी आई एम सुरभि सरदाना एंड दिस इज सीजन थ्री ऑफ अर डेली आंसर राइटिंग इनिशिएटिव वी हैव लिंक दिस इनिशिएटिव वी हैव कनेक्टेड दिस इनिशिएटिव टू आर टू थर्टी पी एम सब्जेक्ट वाइज करंट अफेयर्स डिस्कशन दैट हैपन्स ऑन अ वीकली बेसिस फॉर एवरी सब्जेक्ट फ्रॉम मंडे टू सैटरडे देयर वी डिस्कस अ टॉपिक विद रिस्पेक्ट टू विद रिगार्ड्स टू मेन्स इम्पॉर्टेंस कितना वो टॉपिक मेन्स एग्जाम के लिए इम्पॉर्टेंट है एंड देन अ क्वेश्चन विद रिगार्ड्स टू दैट टॉपिक इज आस्ड फ्रॉम यू एंड उस क्वेश्चन का आंसर हम लोग सीज द मेन्स में रात को नौ बजे मंडे टू फ्राइडे डिस्कस करते हैं वी डिस्कस दोज आंसर्स मंडे टू फ्राइडे इन सीज द मेन्स इनिशिएटिव द स्पेशल पार्ट अबाउट दिस इज दैट यू कैन गो टू आर वेबसाइट raja is academy.com and in the mains answer writing section what you can do is uh, you can click on this and you will find this daily mains answer writing challenge and you will see the latest questions here in the latest question sections what you can do is in the comment section post your uh, post the pictures of your answers or type your answers in the comment section and our team is continu- continuously engaged to evaluate your answers to give you their valuable feedback entirely free of cost so uh, this is a two way initiative that works with your collaboration and our guidance so let's begin with our today's discussion which is the discussion for question 19 yesterday devender sir took a topic regarding eco sensitive zones the recent notification of supreme court and the protest being uh, you know carried out almost all over the country especially in the southern states so what the issue is what the issue is that there is always a contention there is always a problem between there is always a problem of balancing between sustainable development and base economic growth between environmental protection and economic growth डेवलपमेंट ज़्यादा चाहिए या आपको इन्वायरमेंट को प्रोटेक्ट करके चलना है अगर आपको डेवलपमेंट ज़्यादा चाहिए यू कैन यूज एज मनी रिसोर्स आर एज रिक्वायर्ड बट इफ़ यू वॉन्ट टू बैलेंस इट विद फॉर विद न्यू नीड्स ऑफ फ्यूचर जनरेशन ऑल्सो विद द हेल्थ ऑफ आर प्लानट देन सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट इज द गोल इको सेंसिटिव जोन हैव बीन प्रोटेस्टेड बाय वेरियस इकोलॉजिस्ट एज वेल वेरियस फार्मर ग्रुप्स वेरियस ट्राइबल ग्रुप्स एंड many state governments but supreme court recently came out with a notification in june that at least 1 kilometers around every national park wildlife sanctuary and protected forest will be demarcated as eco sensitive zones so again uh, that's where this question was put in to check whether you can ba- write a balanced answer between the importance of eco sensitive zones with regards to the with regards to development versus sustainability debate so discuss the significance of eco sensitive zones with respect to the development versus sustainability debate answer in 150 words a very short answer the directive here is discuss so discuss basically a written debate ki tarah hota hai you have to write both sides of the arguments you have to write in favor of eco sensitive zones to protect the environment and you also have to write in favor of the development uh, development needs of the country especially the people who are protesting their livelihoods that development so you have to talk about both sides of the argument and answer in 150 words submit your answers at rajaisacademy.com if you haven't done it yet let's start with the answer now first of all eco sensitive zones you know this term has been in news and many a times the examiner might want to check your clarity about eco sensitive zones so first of all it was uh, these were declared in the national wildlife action plan to aap us national wildlife action plan ko refer kar sakte hain 2002 se 216 uh, 2016 tak ka jo plan tha in that uh, the term eco sensitive zones were used under environment protection act or wildlife protection act these can be demarcated or what you can do is you can give a basic definition and their significance क्यों इंपॉर्टेंट है क्यों डिमार्केट किए जाते हैं सो द फर्स्ट पार्ट फर्स्ट टू लाइंस गिव यू द डेफिनेशन ऑफ इको सेंसिटिव जोन इको सेंसिटिव जोन और इकोलॉजिकली फ्रेजाइल एरियाज आर एरियाज नोटिफाइड हु नोटिफाइज दैम मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एनवायरमेंट फॉरेस्ट एंड क्लाइमेट चेंज अराउंड दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट प्रोटेक्टेड एरियाज नेशनल पार्क एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरीज प्रोटेक्टेड फॉरेस्ट बेसिकली प्रोटेक्टेड एरियाज प्रोटेक्टेड फॉरेस्ट सेम थिंग Uh, these are created as shock absorbers see this is an important term this should be present in your introduction itself in the definition part for the protected areas to minimize the negative impact on the fragile ecosystems by certain human activities taking place nearby furthermore you use this word to give an addition to what you are talking to give an addition to the definition that is being talked about these areas are meant to act as a transition zone from areas requiring higher protection for example kisi national park mein bahut uh, you know uh, endangered species reh rahi hai so that area would be highly protected uh, so they act as a transition zone between highly uh, highly protected areas to those requiring lesser protection recently uh, now you have to talk about disorder also 
this uh, particular order of Supreme Court which is uh, about demarcating 1 kilometer of uh, areas around national parks and wildlife sanctuaries as eco ecologically sensitive zones. Why is it important? Because it is relevant to your question right now, it is a news. Is, is uh, order ke respect mein hum apna answer likhenge. Now moving on to the significance, first of all we will talk about the positive aspects of it. We will talk about why it is important for environment sustainability. First of all, it ma minimizes the impact of development, urbanization and other activities. Secondly, it helps in in situ conservation of biodiversity, whether they are plants, animals and you can give the example of one horned rhino of Kaziranga National Park of Assam. Of Assam. The third one is it uh, minimizes the forest depletion and man-animal conflict. This is a very important thing here. Man-animal conflict ko kam kar deta hai. Chances of accidents, you know accidents of these uh, wild animals with the traffic passing by, with the vehicles passing by or you know just basic cases of man-animal conflict reduce ho jate hai. Fourthly, they are important for the survival of various tribal species. For example, Lepchas of Sikkim, you know for their survival, for their existence uh, in the pristine environment, these uh, ecologically sensitive areas have a great importance. The protected areas are based on the core and buffer model of management that is there through which local area communities are also protected and can be benefited significantly. Now, what are the negative aspects of this? Why is there, uh, you know, why do we, uh, why are we seeing so many protests in the country? First of all, you know, there are, uh, how you will write is that there are many issues associated with the recent uh, with this one size fits all approach of one kilometer de demarcation this one size fits all approach cannot be taken for the entire country why because we have a great deal of geographical and environmental diversity physical features bahut zyada uh, variant hai sometimes you know around the national park there are urban settlements also or there are many agricultural fields so that's why uh, protests are erupting for example, the first one is that they create abrupt changes in the lives of local inhabitants who have been uh, living there for years. They have been carrying out agriculture, etc. For example, in the case of K uh, Kerala, high areas of Kerala, high range areas of Kerala, jo hai, for example, Idduki, Vainad, Kottayam and uh, Pathanamitta uh, districts, they had been witnessing hartals by various groups because these uh, villages have been staying there in those areas jo ki ab one kilometer notification ke under aa jayenge. they have been staying there for generations and carry on, carrying out their day to day activities. So, they believe that ESZ would restrict their agricultural and related activities. Secondly, uh, ecologically sensitive zones would encompass many inhabitations and important cities. Kafi zada jo cities hain wo uske under aa jayengi so where will these people go? For example, around the Sanjay Gandhi National Park in Mumbai, on one hand you have the IIT and on the other hand what you have many urban settlements are there which has uh, this Sanjay Gandhi National Park has IIT on one side and a colony on the other side. So, agar one kilometer demarcation mein hum log usko le lete hain eco ecologically sensitive zone ko. So, what will happen to these areas? So, many a times a lot of rural and urban settlements, uh, settlements get actually disturbed. The third one is that there are so many national parks and wildlife sanctuaries across the country. Everything will get disturbed and harassment of people might take place. The forest officials hain. Uh, you know, people might be vulnerable to the uh, at the hands of forest officials, uh, and cases of harassment might rise because actually, jo, there is a relation between local communities staying near these national parks or wildlife sanctuaries because they have been uh, settled there for generations. So it should be the actually local bodies who should be taking decisions with, re with regards to conservation, and local bodies should be trusted that yes, they will conserve the biodiversity, whether it's wildlife or plants or any particular national park or wild wildlife sanctuary. It should not be the forest officials only. It should be a coordinated effort. So, jo ek order hai that can actually imbalance a lot of things. The fourth one is rehabilitation of these people will become a humongous task. And uh, what you can add from your side is when you know development activities cannot be carried out. For example, uh, agar koi local communities us area mein reh rahi hai, and you know a school nearby cannot be built. A proper you know industry or mining yes that cannot be developed it causes pollution also but basic amenities like schools and hospitals can also not come up within that one kilometer radius so that so what happens is basic facilities which have which could be provided earlier very nearby and that could increase the living standard of people or just basic ease of living of people there that cannot happen now 
so these can all be the you know downsides of this uh, order what you can do is you can give the example of kerala or karnataka because kerala is uh, you know Ke kerala has a long boundary near the seashore and it has western ghats western ghats ka bahut area kerala state mein fall in karta hai and if every national park and every wildlife sanctuary in kerala is demarcated under this 1 uh, km ecologically sensitive zone then uh, then uh, how will this rehabilitation take place and how uh, you know how much area will be left for kerala for states like kerala to develop other activities to develop other industries or basic uh, settlement kaise develop hogi so there is a need of for rethinking on the impacts on of the environment policies at the local level one size fits all approach cannot be taken so a coordinated effort is required that is something that you have to write in your introduction don't forget to give examples of southern states because they are very important from examination point of view when it comes to ecologically sensitive areas we have a lot of national parks and wildlife sanctuaries located in the south and uh, examples of these states will play a key role in getting you more marks so this can be you know done and give a balanced approach in in discuss answer always take a balanced approach always take a always give a balanced approach to your answer now uh, this was your answer for today the answer the entire answer has been uploaded on our website if you have not gathered the courage to write your first answer yet this is the right time read this answer go through this video again and write your own answer and post it on our website the link to the website is available in the description below just click on that and you will be directed to our website take care keep writing and i'll see you with another discussion tomorrow